I remember that fateful day. The day the chicken came. It took my roommate from me. Like the piece of pizza you have waiting for you in the fridge at home. You craved it. It made you salivate. But then you got home. And it was gone. Someone else ate it. Someone with a long yellow neck and a beak. That's what it was like when I found my roommate dead on the floor. I had to get out of there. I knew who I had to turn to. And I was looking forward to it about as much as I was looking forward to having my testicles compressed by an 18-wheeler on the cold, cold pavement. An 18-wheeler. Driven by a feathery menace. That's when he came to me. He knew that I had a knack for getting things done. You gotta help me. What seems to be the problem? It won't die. Hello, boys. That's when the dame walked in. Oh, she was something else. But she definitely had a hold on the other guy. <gasps> My heart stopped cold for a second. It was as if it was being squeezed at its very core by some kind of vice. A vice being tightened by the steely claws of a rubbery bird-like creation. See, he just didn't understand. That chicken was mine. I sent it. I controlled it. It was an unstoppable force, and I'm not talking about a shaken bake chicken. It was mean. I felt betrayed. The steely claws of fate had finally caught up to me in all its squawking glory. It's like everything up to this point in my life was represented by the chicken itself. I couldn't stand his constant inner monologue. I got sick of him trying to relate everything to chickens, as if it were some form of metaphor. I, I mean, I mean, it wasn't even deep. I mean, it was just a stupid metaphor. It, it, it didn't even make sense. So I decided to end it. It was really for the best, you know. Sitting in the studio with Will Semple. We be busting out rhymes in the temple. Studio sound getting down with the ass clown. Motherfucker knows he not get down. He's walking the keyboards on the power mic. I am the one who gets in fist fights. Power chords on the level of the hevel. Will Semple take up the bevel. I take the mic and I rap real slow because I got a message to protest you. Yo, yo, yo. I'm sick of rappers fucking doing...